Okay, Cooker Mods, what are the sensors? This sensor here is uh, quite clearly a thermal cutout. It's, um, it's got the 240 volt or the wall voltage coming in through it and it cuts out. If this thing gets to 192 degrees Celsius, that'll go open circuit. Um, so, you know, that's there for an overheat situation. If, you're, uh, if you've got something that's really, really hot and it's starting to bake through to a temperature that would probably melt the plastic form, I'd say that's what that, uh, that's set out. These things are really common in heaters and such. But the curious monster is, what's this thing? It's, um, I've just played on the uh, multimeter here, and it's giving a reading of 100k. Um, and if I hold it like that, the, t um, the temperature of my fingers makes that go down. So I believe that this is also a temperature sensing feedback uh, to the board. Um, it's not a diode. I've checked it on diode check. It is open circuit both ways on the diode check mode. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a, a, it's a thermistor, I'd say. Uh, so circumventing that, you could put a 100k ohm resistor across it and then plug that back into the board, chop that fella off of there. Uh, I'm currently looking for a 100k ohm resistor in my box of electronic junk there and I can't find one and I thought you know short of that uh, the obvious thing to do would just be to move it into a place where um, it's not going to suffer any heat uh, it's not going to be positioned near anything in the uh, cooker that warms up in any way because I want that to just sit at its, its rated 100k until I find a resistor to uh, short it and uh, get rid of that device. Um, so yeah, they're the they're the safety features that are built into the thing. Um, but also, it seems to have some sort of current sensing in that it'll go into error mode if it uh, it doesn't detect a load. And so how I've been starting the cooker is I've got this little pan of water here, and I'll slide the cook. Um, slide the coil out of the way, it's still in error mode beeping and then uh, it'll go into mode where it uh, kicks on and then I can do the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark switch out the pop that back in and off she goes uh, but it can quite often keep erroring and as for the incessant beeper I know somebody who's uh, watching along that'll enjoy this I um I just grabbed a pair of pliers, squeezed it with the pliers, and crushed that little element there. And uh, now you can see like the the coil. It's missing its diaphragm, and uh, it no longer beeps. But of course, it still functions because the coil and everything there that the circuit would expect to see is still there. Uh, I've tested this resonator cap. This resonator cap circuit is 13.8 uh, kilohertz, and so we're not on song with the 17. Um, if I put two there, it gets me to nine, which gets me to the half wave. I could then down tune it with the uh, you know, a little bit more capacity until we're right on half wave. Um, I was thinking maybe tune it to quarter wave like a Tesla setup. But um, just wanted to cover the cooker mods. So that's it. Crush the beeper. Uh, you've got 100k ohms across your thermistor. And then you've got a thermal cutout. So getting rid of the thermal cutout, I just, um, I just took out... Where is it? here. I just I removed those from the board and chopped off the bottom of this and soldered it and then put them back in. So uh, you don't have the current path, the entire cooker's current path going through this contraption because that's what that is doing. Um, other mods that would be certainly worth doing would be to pull out this board and get some pieces of copper 
that you've uh, pulled out of some wire and run that along the, the current path tracks and you know lay some extra solder down so that you've got a really good current carrying capacity uh, um, what else have I got to show someone wanted to know what uh, what was in these wires here um, here's a piece of the wire the roll, here's my roll single core building cable here's all the specs Um, that's not right because it's not single core So I don't know what's going on there How many strands? Two, four, six, seven strands uh, And it says on the wire here that it's um, 1.5 millimeter square Okay, so uh, that's all for the moment. Thanks for watching.